Hi, I'm Seth Carnes. I'm a conceptual media artist based in New York. I'm from California and I welcome you to the iHeart Variation print series. I think uh, I was mo always interested from about my first college forward in critical thinking about media and ideas and then trying to figure out a way to make them and some of the ideas I, I just began to notice over, over the years were not as mainstream as I once thought. I wound up starting a company with some friends in San Francisco and we were in the middle of the whole dot-com wave but we wound up making animated shows, you know, an animated narratives and, and what I kept realizing were the, the creation, the, the products we made were exciting and edgy according to people that wanted us to keep doing them but a little too edgy, you know, everyone wanted to like, you know, calm them down and make them more accessible. Then we did a, um, I did a music video with The Roots, and that was really like fundamental because they, they saw that piece we did and just loved it and put all the faith in us, you know? It was just like, you, you're good, why don't you do a whole music video? One of the, one of the changes was um, showing some work at the South by Southwest Film Festival, and I met Paul Miller, who goes by DJ Spooky too. We wound up at the Burning Man Festival in the late 90s, I think it was, well, it was 2000 and there we kept talking about making a project and we leave with a plan to sort of uh, make an animated graffiti idea and we started working on it but it was at the end the end of august 2001 and then it was september and then 9 11 happened so we just switched the pro project instantly and started collecting all these all these images we decided to flip it and make it and you do this use this graffiti generating text along with this new idea for saturation of these um, images in rotation and and once we made that project we said oh it's very shocking and sort of like it's very interesting but it, it's probably needs to be put in a removed space like an art gallery this group in spain somehow contacted me and said oh we would we, you like to come do a project in spain and so it was just sort of like, oh, it would be very interesting to kind of put together almost like a, a coherent uh, presentation of all of these pieces together as a performance with a group that can really do all the music and the visuals live. And that's how the live cinema thing came about. Uh, you know, like I was sitting in Madrid talking to the one of the promoters uh, after we did one of the performances because we did we did two there and she said I'm really I'm really interested I, I love I love the project but I'm also interested in uh, what's in uh, what is she said uh, to me small which means you're sort of like yourself but also your soul and that that impacted me you know pretty strongly because I, I thought oh that's interesting you know like you know uh, I, that's interesting I'd like to go that direction on maybe on the next project Being in New York, I'm from California. Not only am I from California on the West Coast, but I'm from the rural Northern California. So, and I've lived in the city since 18, so almost half my life now. But at the same time, you know, living in New York, you're, you still, I still feel like a little bit of an outsider looking in. And at one point, the iHeart project came about because I just saw that symbol. Of I love this look, geographic location, and in my head flipped it to what if it was I love this symbol. The iHeart Poetic series uh, came. At, came into the project probably like a year after I started the overall iHeart and I always love refrigerator poetry. It just hit me. I met a, I met a curator from Sweden. She want, she had a show that was going on in Sweden and she asked if I had uh, some a project I'd like to um, present. This is idea of making this large scale steel wall with a poem that I would author uh, and fabricate into these large scale magnets came to my mind so I wrote it up and she said yes and it just happened. For the Art We Love iHeart Variation 3 series, we are taking five of the original nine uh, hand-painted symbols from the Variation um, 001, printing them rather than painting them on paper 8x8 eight eight squares. From that, somebody can get take all five and put them in any order. They can get one, they can put two in a row, and so the, di the idea is number one, open variation. And I'm also interested uh, to see what how people put them together and what kind of meaning is absorbed or construed through those placements. 